Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Arm Nation. Today I'm going to show you between a Unity Tactical Mod Light pressure button for the Shield Farm. In the tactical world, if there's a really popular item, there will be a, a counterfeit or a clone. So today I'm going to show you the counterfeit and the real uh, Unity Tactical Mod Light button, pressure button for the Shield Fire Scout. Now this is a real Shield Fire Scout, but I just uh, share code it. So uh, it's not fake. And right off the bat, I have two pressure switch right here. One's real and one's fake. And if you have both in uh, your hand, you definitely can tell which one's real and which one's fake because of the coloration. The right one, as you can see on your screen, is a fake one. The left one is a real one. You can see the color coloration is different. This is more like uh, a little bit towards uh, olive green. This is flat dark earth, as you can tell. Uh, never mind me, this uh, shaving right here. I I did that to uh, fit my uh, bill. So uh, it's me. It's not a uh, unit tactical. And also the screw, as you can see here, it's different. And on the side, there's a Unity Tactical logo on the real one. On the fake one, it doesn't have the uh, logo on it. So uh, the screw, the logo, on the bottom, it's also quite different too, as you can see here. There's a Picatinny slot on the bottom. It's a rubberized Picatinny slot. On the fake one, it doesn't have anything. So this will move around the fake one. If you put it on your rail, it might move around. So Unity Tactical, yeah. There's a reason why this is so expensive. Now you're talking about 60 to 80 bucks just for the switch alone, just for this switch alone. And uh, around $20 for the fake one. So you, you can see uh, why they uh, choose to clone this bun. Also, look at the cord. One, the real one is very shiny, stiff. The fake one is very dull and uh, rubbery. It's, uh, I mean, uh, for long longevity, I, don't, I do not trust it. It's so, like, really frail, rubbery. So if you want to depend something, if you want to depend your life on this uh, little bun, don't do it. You get what you pay for, you know. So the uh, the real one is very shiny. Uh, I'm not sure what material, what kind of plastic to use, but it's uh, very durable. I have used this for many years. It it has not fray on me or anything like that. So let's check out the uh, the plug, and you see the uh, the real one has a logo on it, 90 degree band. Fake one, well, I bought the straight one. I, uh, I'm not too sure if they have the uh, 90 degree, but you can see the uh, vastly different uh, look to it. You can see the shape of the the middle. And see the inert. Oh no, come on camera, focus. The fake one is uh, look like it has some uh, brass or copper in it. The real one have some sort of a plas uh, black plastic sleeve around the uh, connector. And they both work on the uh, Surefire. This is a Surefire Scout dual fuel. As you can see, the fake one works just fine. And uh, it works just fine, just fine. It does uh, have some uh, good tension to it too. And the real one, same thing. Okay, so that's the difference between the real one and fake one. On the fake one, it does also came with the M-Lock mount. As you see here, so what you do is you take the uh, clamp off of the uh, button itself and then uh, mount it to this uh, M-Lock mount and it also came with screw however as you can see the screw right there it looked like it has been cast so I do not trust this part 
you can uh, you know get the real hand lock uh, screw but uh, you know I do not trust this with my life look at that it's it's not it's knock off it's cast and I don't uh, trust uh, this stuff so uh, that's what you get also you know you got like mod like logo all over the place the real one right here no, the fake one <laughs> have a logo or mod like that's that's not that's not real. Uh, the real one just have the uh, logo, but it uh, doesn't have the M on it, so it's a uh, flashlight. So it's different. That's how you can tell the real one from the fake one. But be careful out there. If there's anything popular in the market, they're probably a clone. So make sure you uh, look at review for the product before you buy them so if you get that product you sure that it's uh, a real one and not a fake one and if the price is too good to be true sometimes it is but still you know once in a while you find a really good deal so you might want to jump on it and uh 80 dollars it's a very hard pill to swallow uh the reason i bought the real one because uh i have a store credit for uh, from a primary arm so I uh, might as well just uh, buy something for my Surefire sc Scout light and uh, you know uh, this thing is a tank, the Surefire uh, works like a dream and I couldn't be happier and I never regret buying a Surefire uh, as of yet so so there you have it the real one and, and then the fake one uh, Unity Tactical mod like uh, it's it's kind of hard to find this button on the market because you know it's uh, quite popular and uh, it's quite small compared to uh, the competitor uh, they have a quite large button I want something uh, portable so uh, this is what I get so there you have it real and fake mod like button don't forget to like subscribe and do all that cool stuff and remember I do have a, a brand new uh, Rumble channel, so follow me on Rumble because you never know, you know, uh, if YouTube uh, go uh, full retard, they might uh, delete uh, my channel for whatever reason, and I don't trust them with um, the type of content that I do. So uh, go over to Rumble, support me over there, subscribe, and thanks for watching.